first found the beware advantage idol and then just walked away. I mean, jaw on the floor. Talk me through what you were thinking. Yes. Um, I, you know, I, I felt like I was in, in a very comfortable position at Coco. Um, and when I saw that, I was like, no, because I thought it would have to be a phrase. And I was like, I'm not going to say this. I'm going to put it back. I'm way too scared right now. Um, and then I went to the beach and I spoke to James, I remember. And I was, my my heart was beating out of my chest. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And he kind of just gave me that, that reassurance that this is a game for a million dollars. Um, so why not do what you got to do? And so I think that was the, the reason why I ran back. And also it was kind of like, what am I out here to do if not to play the game? And if I let this go, then I'm going to let so many other things go. So this was the one moment that I was like, all right, let's kick it into gear. Um, push those fears aside and do what you got to do. And then, then at the merge, I mean, it seemed like it was common knowledge. Anyone asking for bees was collecting and making an idol. So how did you keep yours kind of a secret? Well, it's really hard to know the truth, right? To really know like who knows what information. Um, For me, anytime someone asked me about beads, my go-to lie was, well, you know, it was James's birthday and Lindsay and Cassidy were making him a bracelet. um, And then we all just decided to make like little trinkets. Um, I made something for my wife. And so I kind of just said the three of us were doing stuff. Um, I don't know what beads y'all are talking about. I remember asking Gabler to show me what the bead, you know, I was like, can you show me what bead you're specifically talking about? And I was like, oh, Lindsay had that bead. So I really tried to like throw anything at them. Um, But that I think that story stuck for a bit. Um, I think up until maybe the six or no, even no, no, with James, um, when Sammy was like, I think Carla might have something, but I I don't know if he really knew. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Talk me through this James vote. Did Sammy actually convince you to vote him out? He did. He did. So um, Sammy and I had this little thing going on where he, um, I think I helped him. I don't know if it was the Janine vote or the Ellie vote. No, 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 it was the Ellie vote. Um, I think he was, I forget who he was gonna vote for. And so I was kind of like, trust me, bro. I don't know what way you're voting. Trust me, you're gonna wanna vote this way. And he was like, got it. And ever since then, it was kind of like this. Anytime we said for real, like, trust me, trust me, you you had to trust each other. So he told me, Carla, listen, trust me right now. What I'm about to say is scary, but um, Noelle is thinking of stealing Owens, but you know, he, he ran through the plan and I was like, okay, so then why don't we just do something? And he was like, but James is saying that he's going to take your idol with his knowledge as power. And mm-hmm. I was like, what idol? <laughs> and I was like, why would we throwing that out there? I don't have an idol, Sammy. Um, and so in my head, I was like, well, if James knows about my idol, he has knowledge as power. I already took it out once. Let me help take it out again. Um, so that was kind of what uh, what was happening. And then also everyone believed that James was running Coco. Um, and to me, I was like, mm, that's <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a shield. But mm-hmm. then it was also kind of like that's dangerous uh, because if he gets to the end and everyone thinks he, you know, he ran Coco, that's not good for me. So. Mm-hmm. And then how about the Sammy vote? Were you looped in or were you still planning to vote out Cassidy? So I was still planning to vote Cassidy and I thought that I had, because it was what, it was a seven vote, right? That was at the seven. Um, So in my head, I was like, I have Cody, Jesse, and if I get Sammy, we're set, right? It's a four, three vote. Um, And then I just started feeling like something's not right. And Sammy is acting a little fishy. He's getting a little like you could see in people's eyes when they're just like, I'm gonna do anything. And I was like, if he plays shot in the dark, then we don't have the numbers. Then what are we doing? Mm. Wait, was it at? Yeah, 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 it was at seven. So the moment he was like, I'm gonna play shot in the dark, something told me, I was like, mm, this is not going the way that I'm that I think it's gonna go. So let me flip it. Cause I had heard Sammy. So I was like, ah, yeah. And that's why I say it's unfortunate because in my head, I thought he was gonna be with me up mm. until the end. But, you know, someone's spooked him or he figured out that it was going to be him you know you know when you know yeah so right so you and jesse it seemed like at merge started to bond work together is that was he becoming a trusted ally at this point 
I think at the merge, Jesse was my number one trusted ally in the sense of that we totally bonded on a level that is beyond the game. Mm -hmm. um, we have very similar background stories, um, similar academic stories. Uh, so he is someone that I definitely was like, I'm playing this game with you. Um, and we kind of started at the merge. It was just like, I heard him say he went to Berkeley and I was like, wait, you go to Berkeley or you went to Berkeley? I went to Berkeley. And then we just started talking about how similar we are. And then I was like, let's do it, let's play. And then we brought in Cody and it was just kind of like, although you see that it's really a Cody, Jesse, hard duo, but every time Jesse would come back and be like, so what do we wanna do? How do we wanna move this? And I was like, all right, let's do this. So it, 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 it was honest, it was real. Um, and to this day, like I consider him my brother. Okay, well, then we see him trying to set you up with votes. He flushed your idol. He yeah. fanned the flames with you and Cassidy. When did you figure that out? And like, how pissed were you? I think the moment, you know, what's it's funny. I was never mad at Jesse, right? I, I knew the moment that the Cody thing happened, that Cody tribal, I was like, oh, I'm screwed, <laughs> right? I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm done. But that was it. I accepted it. And you know why? Because I respect this game so much that I was like, Jesse, like props to you, bro. I love you. Good job. You got me. And that's great. And so part of the strategy, um, the next day, right? Uh, I lose the final five challenge, but I'm, and I know I'm going home. Like there's no doubt about that. And I just remember thinking, if I'm not going to get my way, <laughs> and if I can't convince people to keep me here, then I'm going to help Jesse as much as I can. And so one thing you don't see is that I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, I'm throwing you under the bus. He's like, you are. And I was like, I am. But it's out of love and it's out of respect because I want to elevate your game that way. And then I asked him, I said, show me how you make fire. I was like, you're going to make fire. You know, you're going to go make fire. And so we sat there and we practiced fire together. And I taught him what I knew because I think I'm a pretty good fire maker. I was like, this is what I do. And then I was like, show me. Um, and so we spent some time together making fire um, as like my last way of, of like, it's kind of like kissing the Godfather, right? You're just like, here's the respect. And then he like shoots me. And then I'm like, all right. But it was, <laughs> it was beautiful. I think that that day was like, it was a, a an alliance, even though he he got me out, it was out of love. And I know that I would have done the same if I were in his position. Now, if I'm reading this edit right, it okay. seemed like Cassidy was involved in most votes, but didn't really run or direct any votes. And then Gabler was involved in most votes, but could claim the one Ellie vote. Was mm -hmm. it that small of a difference between them for votes? Or is there more social game, other things to consider? Good question. I think strategically, that's the perfect way that you just named it, right? Strategically, there it was so close in that sense, which is why, and, and I want to say that when it came down to the final votes, it's really about, and in general in Survivor, there's social capital and social relationships that are at play. You think about jury management, you think about uh, self-awareness and where you think you are in this game, especially let's talk final five, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, it's about strategy. So you just named the strategy part, but let's talk about social capital and jury management. This game is about building relationships, right? And then sustaining and maintaining relationships so that if you ever get to the end, you know that the people that are gonna be at the jury are voting for you. Mm -hmm. I think where the big difference, right? Is that Cassidy and I fought on this island um, we both said really mean things to each other. It wasn't just one sided. We were both mean to each other. Um, and it happened maybe once or twice. And uh, I think jury management was at play here because I think if Cass was a little self aware, more self aware of the fact that she's sending someone who's upset into the jury, she should have been like, let me try to mend this over now so that Carla isn't mad and I still have her vote. Mm -hmm. And then with Gabler, I mean, he would, he, we never fought. Like he was, he was just so kind and he uh he the one thing with with Gabler is that he told me at at the love letters visit I had a strange feeling I was like damn I feel like people are gunning for me and that was the first time I felt threatened and uh I was like Gabler um are you an honest man and he was like I'd like to think I am we were both laying on the shelter and I was like are they coming for me are they are they gunning for me and he said yeah they are and that's when I was like, I got you. Like he could have lied to me. He could have made me feel comfortable, but he didn't. Um, and so you have that social capital, right? 
you you don't ever want to make people feel upset at you you don't ever want to especially once the jury phase you don't want people who are going to go back and be mad at you on the jury in the jury try to make it work um and then just the idea of self-awareness of like i there were times where i thought i was the shit out there i was like <laughs> i got this in the bag but then you sit back and you're like actually jesse's really freaking good i don't think i, I can't go against him right mm -hmm. um and i think there was that like Gabler really knew where he was at in the game. Um, and I think Cassidy thought she was leading more votes um, than she really was. And I think that really came to, to, to bite her uh, at the final tribal council. Was there any surprises watching the season back for you? Um, watching it all back? No. Yes, Sammy, Sammy. <sighs> watching, watching him play the way that he played, I was, I remember texted him and texting him and I was like, who are you? Like you <laughs> deceived me this entire game. Like I didn't know you had that in you. Um, and I was like, props to you, man. Like you're dangerous. Um, and then I think, I think towards the end for sure, I think that I was more surprised uh, in the last episode just because of like, there were, there's so much that happened between Cass and I in that conversation. Um, it's unfortunate that you just saw one side of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's the, the biggest surprise and then obviously, you know, the reactions that you get uh, after the game. Yeah, that's, that's, that's always a shocker. What about Ryan throwing that immunity challenge? Did you know he had thrown that? I texted him too when I saw it and I was like, did you really? <laughs> because I don't know. It's one thing to say it before you go out and do the challenge. It's one mm. thing to say it after. Gotcha. So I don't know. That's still up in the air. That's a big debate. <laughs> no, okay. I'm you and Owen basically hacking Survivor and beating the let's drown you immunity <laughs> challenge. Yeah. What, how did that feel? I mean, that was incredible to watch. Oh, I, listen, I entered, it was kind of like a trance. It was like a med meditative space where I just was replaying reels of my life. Um, and I say that, it, and I don't mean to be like, yes, but like that was the easiest challenge for me wow. only because I entered this space where it was just me, my thoughts, and I learned how to breathe with the ocean. You could feel when the swell's coming, you could feel when it's not, um, or when it's going up and down, and that's when you know how to breathe. And from, I was just very comfortable in that space. It almost felt like I was in a womb, in a very cold womb. Um, but to come out of it and to be like, I just broke a challenge, and I broke it with Owen, who's a super fan. I, it's to, to this day, I'm like, this is such a blessing. I And I toughed it out and I, I wasn't gonna go down with the fight and you saw and you saw it. And for me, it was just flashes of my family, my wife, my life that all just pushed me uh, to continue. Well, it was so much fun to watch you. I mean, Queen Carla, you were a blast. I hope we get to see you play again. Thank you. You up for it? Heck yeah. <laughs> Since since I got back from Fiji, I've just been working on nonstop only, you know, because it's really good for like my mental health, but I'm stronger than ever now. Um, I'm ready. If, if they want to give me a call back, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much.